Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for episode 26 of the Road to 3000 I Rating. Right then, so here we are, we are finally back on YouTube, ready to race. Especially what happened to us last Sunday, straight after the live stream, our PC died. So it wasn't great, it wasn't great timing, I must admit. But the guys at Vibox sorted us out with a new PC within five working days, which were absolutely incredible. And yeah, we are finally back, as we said, and uh, I think I've got everything back on that PC that were, that were needed. So yeah. Here we are at Alton Park for the first race back. Now, we are in the Mazda MX-5 Cup. And going into qualifying, we did a time of 1.53.6, which put us in P8 out of 12 cars on the grid. So, let's jump out on track and see how we managed to get on with this race. If you are enjoying the channel, guys, like I've said before, please drop us a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Enjoy. All right, Jack. right then, here we go. Green, green, green. First race back after getting a new PC. Let's see what's in store for us. Car on your left. Stay on the right. Clear. Clear. Yeah, well, you didn't leave me any room then, did you, mate? There's an incident in Dentons. Looks like we'll have a look at that. Well, that was that was beautiful. Absolute beautiful driving. Let's carry on and we'll see what we can pick up. Not the best of starts. starts all right. Time to get kind started. of anticipated this. On the right. Welcome to Mazda Racing, everyone. Go Let's see what we can get out of it. So we're currently eighth. Steady on steady. Yeah, so we're ten point four away from the the back guy of the group. Don't know where Patrick's getting his pace from. But we're P8, back to where we started. You're stupid, mate. You're stupid. Someone has gone off. Let's just keep going. We might fall lucky. I mean, Patrick's eager to get past, isn't he? Right side. You need it that badly. Still there. You can take it. Clear on the right. <clears throat> Looks like P5's gone off in cascades. Twitchy, twitch, twitchy, twitchy. So still a long way to go yet. So we've dropped down to nine. Not ideal. But with these Mazdas, anything can happen. No, let's go, take let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's 
And there we go. I must admit, he did well to keep that back on track. Michael. I followed him. That's two X's. Keep left side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Right, back up to P8. I haven't done too shabby to say where we where we started and what happened to us into turn one. Can't really grumble. I am still gonna expect some more drama happening ahead of us. Quite slow. Just got to keep near enough to Patrick. Don't really want him to pull away. And with these Mazdas, it's all about carrying the speed. Fastest lap for Becker, 151.48. We are certainly twitchy towards back end. Back, flat for you. Right, just done at 151, three. Okay, Jack, double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. E8. Yeah, leave it to me, Jim. Don't really want to be hitting that curb on the right hand side, as it does give you a, a harsh off track. Not great through the the chicane of tire walls. There's an incident behind. Hmm, didn't really need that. We wanted to hear there's an incident in front. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is nine points. Yeah, Jim, because he's just had an incident. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 2.5 seconds. Let's just keep going. The car stopped ahead. The car in P2 just set the fastest lap. 51.291. There we go. Car stopped ahead. So we've picked up one place, we're now P7. I told you not to give up just yet. Mazda's absolutely dancing on the rear end. As we've got a nice cushion behind us, we'll just keep plodding on with this pace. Because we don't think we're going to be catching Patrick up in front, so whatever happens in front of us now is a gift. So 
So by looks at track map, there's a few groups still battling. Yeah, give me more positive news, Jim, please. The car in P5, just set the fastest lap. 51.259. As it stands, we only gain one measly I rating. But it's a gain at the end of the day. And I'm all for it. So we're 5.6 seconds off Patrick, it's unlikely we're going to be catching him. And I don't really want to be making any bad decisions and, and coming off track and losing position. So we've got a gap of 11.1 seconds off Michael who is in 8th. So I'll just keep to this pace and bring it home. It was just Two a shame. More. Let's go. The leader just did a 51.822. Yeah, it was just a shame what happened to us in, ter in turn one. But if you keep going and push, like I'm doing right now, you can get a decent well, I say decent, a reasonable result. Gain some high rating, and hopefully come away with some safety rating. So I've only had two X's. Keep it together. So 11 seconds from Michael behind us. Now everyone racing in front of us, starting to bunch up. Don't do anything silly, Jackie boy. Well, sir, I'm not driving the best. Nothing happening just yet. White flag this time. That's it, one more lap to go. The, the car in P4, just set the fastest lap. 51.226. Just driving like a granny mode now. Just get it over that finish line. And most of the people above me, they're above my eye rating, so technically I haven't done too bad at all. Just su surprised by Patrick's pace. Let's 
So 11.8 seconds from Michael behind us. Any late drama going to happen? Could be from us at this rate, Jesus Christ. No, don't lose it. There we are, going into the last Good corner. Who's then in uh, Gregory? Yeah, okay. we'll take that. Not the best, but it was reasonable. Hopefully, we do get that plus one I rating that it's showing okay. on the I overlay. P7. It's over. Let's pull over and check out the results Good on that job. one. Very good job. Right then, so here we are going into the first corner. Now we stay quite tight on the right hand side on the kerb. Can't really get it any tighter. And his good old friend Michael leaves us no room and um, hits us from the side and takes us out. And unfortunately, we go off track to have an X. Let's have a look at another view. Right then, so here we are from another view of the rear chase looking at Michael's car. Now, we're on the left, we stay quite tight, we're on the kerb, he comes over, stays tight as well, nudges us from the side, and um, unfortunately it takes us out. Right then guys, so here we have the results after the race around Alton Park in the Global Mazda MX-5 Fanatec Cup. And for this one we're in the second highest split, which isn't really easy going forward from now on. But we got the most important points you could ever get on iRacing, which was one point, which now puts us on an I rating of 2001. A safety rating has gone up 0.12, so can't really grumble with that. But we didn't do too bad to see what happened on turn one. It just shows you to never really give up and see what points you can actually salvage. So there we have it, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.